Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. For those that are new to this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also guys, if you're not a part of the chatterbox, you can join the chatterbox by clicking the join button or clicking the link in the description bar. Um, it is $1.99 to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. <laughs> Ah, there's just so much to say. Um, so I'm here with baby Zora, and Zora is a baby that's painted by me. She is what I guess the doll community has created a term called hybrid baby now. I think that's what they're calling it now, where she is mixed from two different sculpts. So she is not just one original one sculpt. She is the um Margot by Cassie Brace and the uh Lim by Bonnie Brown, arms and legs. So she is, as you can see, a big girl. Say I am a big girl, aunties. So um, <laughs> you wanna see what's going on on the camera. So yeah, so um, so this is my my little one here. Move your hand, move your hand, move your hand. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I wanted to talk to you guys about like customs and stuff like that. I did a video um, in the chat box and I was just, I thought I would kind of talk about it a little bit more and just with the general channel. So if you're new to um, the community and just started collecting, um, some of you guys might, or of course would know this and some of you guys won't, but a custom order is something that you get with the artist and you're able to basically design your own baby, like pick out the skin tone. Um, now different people do different things for their customs. Some people call it customs where you just pick the kit and the skin tone. Some people call it customizing you get this pick the, a true custom is picking out the skin tone, the details, meaning if you want brown eyes, black hair, curly hair, straight hair, you know, what type of, you know, um, skin tone, like, to the exact any birthmarks pimples scratches like all those things that you may be able to tell the artist that you want in your baby um a buy it now baby is a baby that's already been completed with the artist vision totally 100 percent ready to go ready to ship out to you and already have a price set that's a buy it now meaning there's no the only wait time is the travel time so um instant gratification for your money so what's going on in the community, which has been an ongoing thing, a lot of people are just devastated that a lot of artists have stopped doing customs. Um, and the reason being is just so many reasons. Um, sometimes people back out of customs, sometimes the artists get behind, sometimes um, um, it's just a lot of stress on the collector, it's stress on the actual artist trying to create a, someone's else vision, right? Because if I say I want a baby that's pecan tan, my pecan tan may not be the exact pecan tan that you're envisioning. Or uh, AA baby or biracial baby. Um, Sometimes people say this is a biracial baby and people look at it and go like, that's not biracial, that's white. You know, um, so it's just so many variables. Um, I want it curly hair. Well, I want it really, really curly hair. That's not curly enough or it needs to be loosened. It's just so many fine lines. Um, when you're when you're new to um, collecting, you're new to the, to the hobby, you, you may not quite know what exactly you want totally as far as the sculpt and all that and stuff. So sometimes it's it's so much easier if you already see a baby that you love and you fall in love with because then you're like okay i know i want this one versus you trying to picture it in your head put it all together and then you know tell somebody else to complete this thought um but nevertheless what i see happen a lot of times um and it almost happened to me is where artists will take on more than they can chew like they will take on so many custom orders and have so many people waiting and then people customers start to get upset mommy's you know getting discouraged that you know the baby's just not gonna come um, some people some artists has actually took off and never delivered um, that is a possibility we're living in a 
well not living I'm living in the times um we're in this industry is an online climate and there's no brick and mortar store you can't just walk in and say um i want this one this one this one or if something go wrong you can go ahead and say i want a refund i want to exchange it you're actually trusting online sometimes you don't even know the person um so yeah it's just it's just it's harder to actually it's harder to do online so I'm, i got this little bar came up so i'm kind of worried if my video gonna end but anyway sometimes it's just harder it's harder to actually um shop online and so i got third off track oh gosh what was it <laughs> But yeah, so anyway, some people have not actually have not gotten their babies with customs before. Um, you want to deal with a reputable artist in most cases and, you know, one that's pretty, you know, grounded in the community that is probably not going to try to risk their whole reputation over one doll. But we've seen it happen. So um, my my biggest thing right now is that so many customers or collectors are pushing for people to do customs and I just feel like you, sometimes you you're asking for this you're taking this risk when you don't need to like just buy the baby once it's finished like some artists will do suggestions and stuff like that but when you keep pushing someone and someone says they don't want to do customs and you keep pushing them and pushing them to do customs and then something go wrong. It's kind of your fault because you kind of push them into it. Um, but then I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the side of being a collector. I'm going to say that the artist is the artist's responsibility to hold their end of the bargain. Once you accept that money, your feelings and your anxiety, your emotions and all that is really kind of pretty much out the window. You've accepted this commitment and you're obligated to deliver and regardless of how you got in that situation you agreed to it so it is your it is your business to take care of your customer and deliver their baby or return their money if you see you're not going to make it um you know many times i see people like going like a year or two years waiting on a baby that is for me this is just my personal opinion. This is ridiculous. It's too long of a wait. Um, have I waited a year for a baby before? I have. Um, it's just, if you agree to it up front, that's on you. But I just can't do it. I mean, you guys know, mostly by within a year, I'm ready to go ahead and sell the baby anyway. So a year of waiting is just not going to happen for me. Um... Because by the time it comes, nine times out of ten, I'm going to be over it. Um, some people wait on a waiting list for two years. They're like, well, she has a two-year waiting list. First of all, I just think that, and this is just my opinion, and I'm sorry, artists, people, other artists. I think it's a little bit, a bit much to do a waiting list that far out. Because, like, we can't even foresee what's going to happen the next day, much less two years. I mean, anything could happen in two years. To be taking people money for 2022, well, we're almost in 2022. Well, like 20, all of 2022 and to 2023, it's, that's pushing it. I mean, for real. And people, and I hate to say it like this, but people are dying left and right with, you know, this pan, in this pandemic and just not even with the pandemic, just regular life. You know, not even death, because I don't uh, definitely don't wish death on anybody. But, you know, people get sick, you know, their family gets sick, um, their job situation changed. They have to go into office more or um, just so many different scenarios can happen within a two year span. Like, I would not want to take orders for a two year. I don't want to plan my life for two years. Hell, I may decide I absolutely hate painting and hate collecting it by within two years. I might find me a. A, a, a sugar daddy 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 that's gonna sweep me off my feet and move me to Paris for all I know like I, I just yeah so I feel like sometimes artists is doing too much and but 
I mean, if you got customers that's willing to wait, and I get it, okay, that work is so good that you just gotta have it and you're willing to wait. But I don't know, sis. Like, what you think, Zora? <laughs> Zora say she don't know about that. Tell you don't know about that, mama. I don't know about that, mama. Yeah, because, yeah. So, you know, and then the thing, some, the other thing is a lot of times people be like, oh, I'm willing to wait. I'll wait however long. But that weight hit different when you actually sitting in it. <laughs> when, when them days go to going by, you be wishing you never had to say that because you like, okay, I really want her to be done by this time. Because see, what happened is a customer assumed that they say, oh, take your time. It don't matter how long you take. I'm going to wait. I'm good. I'm patient. I'm this. They're thinking in their head like, okay, I'm going to say this, but it ain't going to really take her that long. Like, I seen her do so and so in this amount of time. So... I'm going to say that so that she can go ahead and, and, and finish. Um, so she can go ahead and, and take the order. But I know she ain't going to take that long. But when she actually started taking that long, you're like, nah, this is too long. Like, you know, you start feeling some type of way. So I don't, what you looking at? So, um, yeah, I just, I just feel like, what you look at <laughs> so I just feel like it's just sometimes I feel like we kind of put put that on ourselves to when you saying you okay with something that you're not stop for one listen as a customer stop saying you're okay with stuff that you're not if you know that you're impatient and you know you are expecting a baby by your birthday or such and such a date be upfront listen I'm patient I don't mind, but I really would like my baby to be home by such and such time. Is it possible that within this time frame that you would be able to finish it? And then if they say, yeah, then okay. But just know that it's a possibility that they still might not finish. And then, you know, it is what it is. Because um, artists are very emotional and they work off of their emotions a lot of times. And so that, and I, trust me, as a customer, I don't give a crap about your emotions. You know, to your, in. Not to sound mean, but at the end of the day, come on, y'all, really. Do we really, really be caring at that time? We done gave out all this money. And a lot of times, it be a lot of money. These dollars aren't cheap. We have been up paid thousands of dollars, and you like, girl, okay, your cat died, dig a hole, and let's keep it moving. Get back in there and paint. Like, and I know that sound cold, but it's really how people really be kind of in their mind. They don't say it, but that's how they act. If they ain't feeling it, they sure act like that. And I just think, if you're impatient, just say that. <laughs> if you if you, if you, you wanted to be strict in the business, just say that. Sis, listen, I love your work. Love you as a person. But you told me you was going to be done by such such time. Are you going to be done by this time? Or are you running behind? Communication is another thing. I found that I am more patient with with people that communicate with me. I feel like if I know what's going on with you and I'm not just having to guess in my mind, wonder like, has she even started? Like, is she done painting? Is she just waiting to root? Where's she at with it? You know, I feel like when an artist is back and forth communicating with me, um, not every day, but you know, as they hit another area with the baby and kind of let me know where they're going at with it 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 kind of keeps my mind a little bit at ease and I think I can handle I can handle the weight a lot better when I know what's going on but I am an impatient person I had one customer I'm not gonna say her name but I had one customer this customer was so amazing like I would message her it got to the point where sometimes when I message her I felt like I was bothering her I'd be like such and such and such and such, such. Like, okay Baby, just, that's fine. Thank you for the update. That's fine. Just do your thing. That's fine. And when I tell you, she meant that. She meant it. And when I tell you, I'll be honest, I didn't feel no pressure working on her baby, to be honest. I feel no pressure working on her baby. The only pressure I felt was coming from myself. Like, in that case, I wanted to make her baby the most amazing baby ever. It just happened to be just so happened to be one of my most challenging babies but I was just I, I wanted I wanted that baby to be like 
super special because she was like a super customer like one of the best customers i've ever had i love my customers but um this person just stood out like she was just really really never messaged me she never messaged me never 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 ever ever messaged me N message me only when i message her not that you shouldn't like you and that's another thing it's like there's a misconception of you messaging an artist coming across as you bothering them i don't like that feel either so it's like a thin line it's like this the whole custom thing is just it's just messy because it's like you sometimes people make you feel like you're bothering them and you shouldn't have to feel like you're bothering them when they got your money and your dog but then sometimes sometimes you are being a bugaboo you know what i mean like it's 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 just weird. Like, it's a thin line. And it, I don't know. That's why I just don't like... I don't like the customs. Um, some people I've worked... Like I said, I've worked with... Been made it so easy. It's like, oh, I feel like I could do it. I feel like I could do customs all the time for people. Because those customers were so amazing. And I was able to really, really produce a really, really nice baby for them. And it's just like, I can, I can paint for them in time. But then... The really reality of the situation it, it's not that easy so my advice to um and i know i got all of topic but my advice to new people is it's easier when you buy a buy it now baby because you know exactly what you're getting when you do get a custom make sure you are getting a custom from somebody that you absolutely love all their work because every every baby is different um it's not going to come out like the last one or the one before that you don't know how it's going to be, especially if it's an artist that paints various skin tones and various different painting styles and stuff like that. You never know what you're going to get with that that particular artist. Um, make sure you love their work wholeheartedly. That way, whatever you get in the end, you know you're going to love it. Um, that's 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 my advice to you guys. Um, until the next video, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, if you want to talk about this more and you want to, you know, we can dive into some other subjects live. If you want, let me know, let me know what topic you would like to discuss live and what is the best time for you guys, for me to go live with you guys. All right. Thanks guys for watching. And this is it. Zora, are you going to go shut the camera off for them? <laughs> Are you gonna go shut the camera off for them? Are you gonna? The door is sleeping. She getting tired now. <laughs>